All right, fam, quick video. How to change your brakes. Basically, these two bolts connect to your calipers, right? You wanna take these off. These are 10, uh, a 10 millimeter, what's it like a 12 socket, whatever. So it's, it's a special tool, a special socket. I'll show you what that looks like. It's, uh, I always forget the count, but if you can see the, the threading on that, all right, it's a 10 mil. Okay, so now you're gonna get a needle nose plier. You're gonna pull this up, take off this pin. You're gonna change that pin out. Then you're gonna take yourself a hex head and uh, I'll tell you the one I'm using, five mil hex socket. And I'm gonna unloosen this. It's gonna take a little, little tension. We're gonna take that out. Now that one bolt is what's holding the, the brake pads together. So hold the brake pad, sorry about that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that out. When you take that out, and also, keep in note, I have the rims protected, so if this happened to fly, it's not gonna hit anything. So now, what I like to do while I'm at it, is I'll just take a screwdriver, and I'll just kinda press it in, because these are old brake brakes anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna take my time and just press it in, use that as leverage. Make sure these pistons are pushed all the way in. I can feel it going in nice and smooth. Okay, now, these brakes is no good. These brakes, they're done. It's not a hard job. So when somebody's charging your arm and a leg, think about doing them yourself. So those brakes are done. Let me show you how this, let me show you why these brakes are done. Guys, you got to learn how to either A, check your damn bikes, take this thing for real, don't be a, don't be a little punk. F fix your bike, your brakes. Look at, the, look at the thickness of that. And look at the thickness of this, this new one. You got to check your brakes. Look at the thickness of that and look at the thickness of this one, okay? So basically, you can't get this wrong. This, that bolt that we took out, the, that bolt goes right inside these little hole to keep it in a spot. You're gonna look at the shape of your bike, the shape of the pistons, I mean the uh, calipers, and you're gonna slide that in and it's gonna lock, it's gonna drop in place. Take your time. It's gonna drop in. You're gonna do the same thing for the second brake. Where the heck did I put the second brake? It's hiding from me, it's hiding from me, but I'll find it. So you do the same thing on this side. You push it in and there you go. So, so I'll still take my screwdriver and I'll gently just, just, just gently, I'm not going hard. I'm just doing a little bit of pulling or pushing just to make sure that this thing falls right where it needs to fall and I get a good opening. So when I put it back on, you wanna get a nice little gap like that, okay? Now, on your kit, you get a brand new kit. So the, with the kit comes a whole new bolt and a whole new lock pin. That lock pin is the first thing that I took off with that needle nose. The lock pin, bolt. The threading is simple. So if you wanna Loctite it, you can never go wrong with Loctite. So I just put a little bit of Loctite. It doesn't need a lot at all, all right? So I'm gonna hold the brake in place there's only one way this goes. The threading goes right inside this, and I'm gonna use my handheld 316 socket, and I'm gonna screw that baby down. There we go. I'm gonna hand tighten it. The torque specs, everybody has different torque specs, so you wanna find your, your torque specs and uh, make sure that you have it torqued properly. All right, this, I'll find the torque specs for you guys and I'll just put it in the, uh, inside of the um, video. Now that pin, that new pin, that new pin simply pushes in. There's a little groove right here. You can't see it in the camera, but there's a little groove. As a matter of fact, if you look at the groove right here on the old, on the old one, that's the little spacer. That's where you just simply look through, the, look through the little opening, press it down, and that's it, all right? This goes on one way. This piece will press in, and it will snap back into place, okay? Now, let's get after the, the, the uh, putting this back on. When you put this back on, you also want to take your time on this. We are going to go, make sure you slide it on. Let me get the camera set for you better. So you want to slide it on. It go. It went in place. 
Nice, good. I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue Loctite on here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Like I said, you can never go wrong, right? And we're gonna just put that in. Make sure it catches that, that, that opening. Take your time, wiggle it a bit until it bites. Okay, there we go. Same thing on this side. The only thing I did not do was, was show you how I took the caliper off, but now you know, cause you see me putting it back on. It's just the opposite, all right? I'm gonna take my time. I'm not going fast here, I'm just taking my time. Here we go. All right, and I believe I have the torque specs written down. Let me check real quick. Um, yep. So the brick caliper, the front, we're gonna go to 28 to 38 foot pounds. So I'm gonna grab my torque wrench. So it's important to have yourself a torque wrench, guys. Some things, I don't care about torque into spec, but stuff like this, man, you better torque that damn thing down. So I'm gonna go to, I'm sure you can get the, get the torque in the, in the camera. I'm gonna go up to 28. I might just go to 30. You know what? Let's just go to 30. Call it a day. Cause it says this is 28 to 38. So I'll go, I'll go somewhere in the middle. And you want to hear that clack sound. There you go. I'm already there. All right. There you go. That's now torqued down the spec. Always research your stuff online. Look it up first. So that way you can have everything torqued down. But that's how you change your brakes. I already did the, the other side already. This one is not is a non ABS um, system, so th there's no need for the ABS module, none of that stuff, because this doesn't have ABS. But if you have ABS, then that is a piece that will go right back in this spot. All right. And remember, when you're changing your brakes, don't go pressing the lever because that's gonna that's gonna put you, your pistons all the way out. If you have the brakes inside, the pads inside, then you might be okay. But just remember, this is death right here. This is me saying. I don't like myself. I am going to kill myself and life is no longer worth it. But always go back to your brake, your lever, and get, the, get that pressure back in it, okay? When you press the lever, you're gonna feel it go all the way down, but just keep on pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, and you're gonna feel the pressure build back up. Listen, right. man, get your brakes checked out ASAP. If you haven't changed your brakes in a minute, change your brakes out. Get, take them, get them changed. I will change your brakes for you. Bring them over to my house. All right, y'all know I'm doing, I'm doing bikes. I don't do motor work, but if you need stuff done to your motorcycle, you, you know, your oil change, you wanna get rims put on, you wanna change out certain things. I know I do a whole lot of stuff, including clutches too. But if you need major work, then you go check my people's Bowen Melody at, at Image Power Sports, all right? This is Sensei telling you, let's get these miles, let's get this money, let's get this muscle. Let's keep on building ourselves and being safe, being safe. Look, that's the other side, same thing. Look, other side is probably a little worse. All right, leave your comments. I hope this helps. Peace.